Hey, this is John Cena, WWE Superstar and 15-time champ, and you are watching Miss WWE Fan 13. You can't see us. Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to today's video. Um, today is day number six, I believe, of Unboxing Week. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed all the other videos I've done this week, all the unboxings. And yeah, so um, one thing I've mentioned in all my videos for the past couple days, not all of them, but most of them, is that myself and my best friend on here, Vince Martinez, are going to be selling uh, YWO t-shirts. What uh, You guys are asking, what's YWO? YWO is myself and Vince's little like WrestleMania group. Um, it's Century YouTube World Order, and you can see it has like the NWO logo, except we placed the Y. And so we're going to be selling these for $15. Uh, $5 shipping for people in the United States, $10 for people internationally. Um, so if you guys are interested, make sure you message me and ask me about the info and whatever, and we can get you guys one of these. So we do not, um, we're not going to be releasing them until we get 10 orders. So once we get 10 orders, you guys will get your shirts. So make sure you uh, message me if you want one. So enough of that, let's get to the unboxing. So anyways, so here's the box. It is the last Royal Rumble plaque that I ordered this year. As you guys know, I went to the Royal Rumble with one of my good friends, Brendan Hodge, this past year in San Antonio, Texas. So. Um, yeah, this will be the last one. I know which one this is because it is my last one, obviously. Um, this guy is, was longly, long, oh, what's the word? Long overdue a title, and I'm so glad he won one at, I believe he won it at the Royal Rumble. I'm pretty sure he did, or I'm one horrible fan of him if I don't know when he won it. But, I'm pretty sure it was at the Royal Rumble. I might be wrong, of course, but... Alright guys, I've not had the best luck with these uh, boxes. I don't know what's up with this box today. Alright, all the other boxes, they didn't put that much tape, but this one they decided to put a lot of tape. But anyways, give me a second guys. Alright guys, so about five minutes of messing with this stupid box. Really not five minutes, but it felt like five minutes. Um, as you can see what I did to this box, trying to get it open. But anyways, so here's the back of the plaque, right there. Um, let's see, let's take off the plastic. I obviously already know which one this is, so I can look at it and whatever. But I'm not looking at the number until I actually get this plastic off. Alright. So. I'm trying not to look at the number, it's so hard not to. Alright, so still don't know what the number is, but anyways, so here's the back of the plaque, um, right here, and then the front of it, uh, covering up the numbers, but it is Neville. Um, Neville wins the Cruiserweight Championship. So, you guys don't know I'm a huge Neville fan, he's in my intro as you guys see when you watch it, um, every single one of my videos, and so I was there to see him. I believe it was his first title where he won. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, I got number... Oh, this is another good number. Not as good as my Becky Lynch one from yesterday, but really darn close. Second best one. I got number 5 of 199. So that's awesome to have right there. Neville, I love Neville. He's one of my favorites. Hopefully I can get this signed by him because he's fairly easy to meet. Um, so it says Royal Rumble. Neville wins the Cruiserweight Championship January 29, 2017 in San Antonio, Texas. Heading into San Antonio with a chip on his shoulder and the WWE Cruiserweight Championship on the line, Neville was focused on inflicting damage during his match with champion Rick Swan. The self-proclaiming king of the Cruiserweights lived up to his nickname and survived the unique aerial maneuvers of the outlandish athlete to win the belt with a vicious superplex at the top rope. The win marks Neville's first championship in WWE. Uh, so I said 5 of 199. I love Neville. He's probably my favorite cruiserweight. It used to be TJ Perkins, but then Neville became a cruiserweight. So Neville obviously got to number one. Neville, I, I love Neville. He's one of my favorite wrestlers in WWE. Not only of the cruiserweights, but of all WWE. So, and one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Um, I know Brandon had like a little encounter with him at their report. Um, but he was just keeping kayfabe alive by being a heel. But honestly, um, I know that looked bad, but Neville's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. 
and I've met a lot of nice guys and a lot of jerks. So Neville is definitely up there with one of the nicest. So yeah, there it is right there. Awesome plaque to add to my collection. This whole wall right here is going to be full of plaques. Uh, I'd have to re rearrange the plaques I already have on there. But anyways, so that is day six, I think I said, of the WWE. Uh, Boxing Mania week, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what I'm calling it to be honest. This might be like a yearly thing I'll do. Um, one week I'll just have seven unboxings. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, so yeah, there's the plaque for today and I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want one of those YWO shirts just message me or message Vince. Preferably me because the shirts are being made here in El Paso, Texas with someone I know. So it'd be easier to contact me. But if you don't have my social media, you just have Vince. Tell Vince and Vince will tell me. So yeah. That's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, and tomorrow is the last day of unboxing week. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give that like button a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for my future videos. And thank you for watching, you can't see me.